this is one DNA strand and this is the second DNA strand. DNA can form a double helix where one strand goes over around the other one. And how many times this strand goes over the other time can be called linking number, which is the same thing as twist when DNA is in a relaxed form. Now we'll try to understand the relationship between linking number, twist, and risk. So, please help. So we have two DNA strands parallel to each other. Then I'm going to turn this one around the other one. How many times? Five. Five. Five times. Okay. One, two, three, four, five okay and then we're going to connect each strand to the other one so the green with the green and the white with the white now we are making a closed circular dna let's see so here let's count the number of times they go over each other here this white strand is going on top of the green one this is one this is two this is three this is four and this is five white strand is going over the green one five times now, what we are going to do is make a rift, okay? That is when the DNA goes over, the whole molecule bends over itself. One time. So we have made a one time rift. Let's count now how many times the white strand goes over the green one. One, the white is over the green. Continue. Two, the white is over the green. Three, the white is over the green. And four. Four times white strand is over the green one. So that means linking number doesn't change because we don't break any bonds. Linking number is five as in the beginning, but the twist is 4 plus the rate which is 1. Now we can repeat this where we introduce another rate. And now let's count again how many times the white strand is over the red one. Start from here 1, the white is over the green. You follow it here, it's still below the green, below the green. Here, White is over the green. Follow it. It comes under. Yeah. And there, the third time, is over the green. So we have the twist three. And we have two red numbers. The total is five the same.